English is well known for its difficulty when it comes to writing and reading it out loud. It's completely different. English is more than a thousand years old and its spelling is due to a mixture of Old English, Latin, Old Norse and Anglo-French, which is called Anglo-Saxons as a whole. Now in this video, I will show you six words that you are probably mispronouncing, but that ends today. Hi, I'm Andrea from Social Coconuts. If you are new here, you can subscribe to keep learning English, Spanish and other language tips, which is what I usually talk about in my channel. You can follow me on my social media as well because I post a lot of useful language stuff over there as well. The links are in the description. Let's start with the first word that you probably already know how to pronounce, but didn't know that there is a variant of it. It's cupboard and also clapboard. A cupboard is literally a board or a table on which cups can be stored. For example, the cups and glasses are in the cupboard. Notice how the P and the B of the spelling have merged in the pronunciation. Cupboard. Now, clapboard is a narrow board that is thicker at one edge than the other one. And that is used to cover the outsides of buildings. This came into the English language as a partial translation of the Dutch word klaphout, meaning stave wood. This probably also derives from the Dutch word klappen, which means to clap or to hit, from the way carpenters used to nail siding to houses. Clapboard can also refer to the clapping slate, which is used in filmmaking, for example. In little villages, it is often a white clapboard building with a hip roof and a bell tower. Or the director used the clapboard to end the scene. This next word may come to you as a new word because it is often used in writing. Vittles, this means supplies of food or provisions and comes from the Latin word victualis with the meaning of nourishment. Before this word came into the English language, it went through Anglo-French and the pronunciation was most likely established on the French spelling, vitaille, before the spelling was changed to better reflect the Latin root of the word. Vittles is in fact given in our dictionaries as a variant of Vittles, but which is actually just an earlier development of the Middle English, vitaille, that existed before Vittles. Now you can check out the word in context. Vittles were passed out to the hungry visitors who hadn't eaten a meal in days. Now the third word is awry. This word is most commonly used if you are an advanced speaker in the English language. If something is wrong or off the correct or expected course, then something is awry. Look at this example. Their plans went awry, so they went back home. It can also mean in a turned or twisted position or direction. My tie was all awry. This word comes from an old English word meaning to turn. Now we have the word sutter. It has a silent L, just like in other common words like salmon, calf, walk, and should. However, it's not a word that we often use, like the ones I just mentioned. The letter L wasn't always in there. Up until the 1500s, most spellings of sutter didn't include it. Its Latin ancestor, solidare, which means to make solid, was presumably used to justify adding the L in this word. Here's an example in context. Wires are soldered onto the circuit board. Try saying that twice in a row, you'll get all tongue-tied. Now the fifth word is antennae. The singular form of this word is very easy and people don't really struggle with it. It's antenna, but the plural form, as you already heard, is a bit trickier. But here's the secret to pronouncing it correctly. When you see the letters AE, just say E at the end. Just like in these words, Caesar, larvae, and algae. Now look at this example. The lightning had struck and damaged all the TV antennae from the neighborhood. The following word can be a bit hard even when you write it down. Mischievous. It can describe both the playful 
and the malicious. It means either being able or tending to cause annoyance, trouble, or minor injury. Or it can also mean to be irresponsibly playful. There exists also a non-standard pronunciation of this word, which is mischievous. However, it is preferably not used. So now you can look at the word in context. Their sons are noisy and mischievous. If you learned something today, hit the like button. I'm curious to know how many of these words you didn't know how to pronounce. You can leave it down in the comments. Which was the hardest one for you? I'll see you next time.